Motorhome Adventures is thrilled and proud to present India's first ever fully functional slide-in pop-up pickup caravan. This has been one of the most awaited creations of Motorhome Adventures and let me tell you that this is a dream customization of every adventure lover who wants to challenge their extreme be it on-road or off-road but also wants to have a fully functional home away from home but on wheels to rest well, supercharge for the adventures of next day, unbound of the terrain that they are at. Hello adventure lovers and welcome to a brand new episode of A Walk Through the Conversion. This is your host Vidushi. If you're new here, Motorhome Adventures is a 25 plus year old company that rents and builds all things home on wheels and more. Ranging from a club on wheels to election campaign vehicle to food truck and of course caravans, motorhomes, RVs. So we've been a little MIA here and on our socials but that's because we've been working on some crazy customizations that you have definitely never seen before. So make sure to subscribe to us and follow us if you haven't already so that you do not miss out on the newest conversions that we will be walking through very soon. As for today's episode, if you're a long-term subscriber and a keen observer, you must have witnessed the man behind the making accidentally sharing the details about this conversion on our episode of Man Behind the Making featuring our conversion on Bolero. In the coming time, you will see more new creations. We are making a car on this Suzu. We are making a pop-up camper. And like this... No more hints for you. We will see the new projects in 2022. No more sneak peek. Okay. So on today's episode, we are going to walk through attention on the terminology here a slide in pop-up pickup caravan based on isuzu d-max v cross the name is vagabond 2022 a home for the vagabond in you so without further ado let's walk through this conversion interested in article containing specifications of the base vehicle will be linked in the description box below and as I've mentioned we've used a four-wheel drive vehicle here but you can use any asset it can be a Tata Yodha hint hint a Bolero or the newly launched Hilux now a little rundown we are going to begin with the exterior then talk about the technical elements of how we got this baby up top and then move to the interior so if you want to skip to the interior which you should not because this is the fun part but still if you want to miss the fun part then the timestamps will be mentioned in the description box below as well first up we have the exterior shell the wet weight is approximately 600 kilos it's painted in metallic black which is similar to the base vehicle and it's also giving Vagabond 2022 a tough look but tough is definitely not enough we also wanted to make it as lightweight as possible which is why the complete shell is based out of alloys we've used the 6003 series which is the aluminium alloy used especially for the purpose of automotive craftsmanship etc so people in the comments saying that our conversions are exorbitant and the other conversions that you've seen on web in india are not maybe you should consider why moving on we said that this is a slide in asset but how does the slide in actually work usually you have your linear actuators on each side of the shell so your jacks an example would be what we have created in shiloh and what you do is you bring the jacks down you bring it to the level of your base in goes the base you pull the jacks back up and you're done but in this case particularly the use was permanent which is why there are no actuators and we ramped it up through a crane now moving on to one of the most important elements of this conversion without which your shell would be rolling down the hill the turnbuckle and the tie down so let's talk about the tie down first 
we have used free mounted tie downs powder coated steel it is attached directly to the chassis there are many other kinds available for example one which you can clamp directly to your chassis but we haven't used that because there's a risk of it snapping especially considering the road conditions of india hooked to it is the turn buckle with the supporting chain and the pin which secures your shell to the base now in many countries these are available on a ready made basis but here at motorum adventures we custom build them according to the specifications of the asset which is where the customization cost goes up moving on here we have our dampers which are there more so so that your shell does not hit your truck when you're on a bumpy road speaking of bumpy roads another upgrade that we have added to the existing base is that we have provided two air balloons each of which can take a payload of up to 2 ton right up top we have our 200 watt solar panels now you'll see that most of the elements are here on the co driver side and there's a reason for that because when you're parked up the side that's most accessible is your co driver side so here we have our inlet to 170 liter fresh water tank it's based out of aluminum and it has been placed right on the center to maintain the core of gravity this here is our power hookup this one right here is our outlet to the kitchen water this is the inlet of our hot water This is the inlet to our cold water and this one right here is the inlet to our city water. Now you must be saying Vidushi what is city water? So when the pressure of the water the source through which you're getting the water is high enough you do not have to use your motor to pump in the water to your tank and you keep that tank water in reserve instead you use the city water the city water is accessible throughout the kitchen area the bathroom as well as the shower area speaking of shower this right here is where you have your outdoor shower stored up and ladies don't you worry you too can enjoy an outdoor shower with the help of motorum adventures very own 270 degree awning aka octopus awning aka batwing awning with an annex room opening the awning you have a 270 degree side space Welcoming the canvas you have an annex room and much needed privacy you're welcome now moving to the rear exterior we have our tail light we have a camping light we also have a provision of hanging our gas geyser as well as a rear parking camera adjacent to the entryway door we have a grab handle underneath which we have our bifold swivelable staircase Now before we move inside there's just one more element that we need to walk through first which is the most essential part of this pop-up caravan the pop-up mechanism which runs on hydraulic that functions through a 12 volt DC power pack that's stored in the rear interior of the sofa side The canvas material that we have used is high grade. It's mostly used in making parachutes. So we have three layers, the outermost being the mosquito net, the middle one being the transparent layer, and the innermost being the blackout blinds. Now, I promise this is the last feature of the exterior. It's more so an extension of the same canvas material. It's the rain sheet that you pull out so that the water doesn't enter the interior when you have popped the top. and you place it in and then in we go when your truck is running you have approximately 4.6 feet of height and 6 feet of width but when you open the pop top you have approximately 6 feet of ceiling height look at how much space we have in here now we have the similar kind of quilting as we have in the sofa and the bedding area 
We have intentionally provided these velcros so that when you're traveling to a wintry location, you can simply add a thermal layer. There are multiple pockets. Now, nobody wants the hassle of constantly adjusting the canvas when you're dropping down the pop-top bed, which is why we have provided these hoops on which you can simply hook the bungee cords and when you're pulling it down, it's simply going to pull it back. When you enter on your left hand side is your dainty bathroom. So it's the similar technology, reinforced fiber paneling and we have a detailed video on this. If you want to check it out, the video will be linked in the description box or somewhere right here. So in this one, we have created a foldable sink. We also have storage space for a portable toilet as well as an extended shower arm, which is essentially your tap. Adjacent to our bathroom space is our kitchen area with a two-top burner, FRP sink, a customized 12-volt DC battery-operated fridge. We have storage under here. We have a control panel, USB charging socket. We have a music system and a cutout. So we have three 75AH batteries, one that's originally of the pickup truck and two that we have kept for the compact caravan. So when you're stationary, you cut out the power and you do not drain the power of the original battery. Instead, you use the two batteries that you have in reserve. In our lounge space, we have an L-shaped sofa that can be converted into a bedding for approximately two adults. You can also convert it into a diner by placing the table which you usually store inside the storing space. And now we're on the last feature of this pop-up caravan, the pop-up bed, which is approximately six feet wide, six and a half feet tall, and 28 inches, which is somewhat 2.3 inches in terms of height. And just to show you how much space we have, I'm going to scoop in. So this is how much area I have. I can even make a ferry. Now coming back, I keep on saying this, that this has been one of the most challenging project for Team Motorhome Adventures. But I know for sure that my old man, the man behind the making, as well as team, enjoyed this project utterly. And on that note, I'll touch base on four abuse and one edge of this concept. So the first W is why, why was this asset created? This one particularly was created for a specific requirement. However, this being a compact home, as well as being based on a vehicle, which is very easy to drive for a layman, is a perfect fit for a family or friends group who love adventure. And if you're interested in getting this or similar concept built on your existing 4x4, you can visit www.caravanconversion.com and book a consultation for your dream home on wheels. So the next W is what is the purpose of this asset? And we are delighted to tell you that you can avail the Vagabond series for a self-driven rental. Yes, you heard it right, a self-driven rental wherein you plan the trip and you drive the asset without any attendant or the driver. If you're interested in a self-driven rental, visit www.moodhome.co.in and subscribe to the waitlist so that you become the first one to rent it on a self-driven rental. So the next W is when, when can you start renting this asset? So we're currently in the works of establishing the self-driven rental norms and whatnot. But as I mentioned, you can sign our waitlist to be the first person and get your dream home on wheels built right now. So the next W is where, where exactly will you be able to rent the Vagabond series from? And this is for both our self as well as chauffeur driven rental. You can rent it from any part of the country or from parts of Tibet, Nepal and Bhutan. But because our headquarters is based up in Delhi, our home base is Delhi, the services are charged from ex Delhi basis. As for building, the building headquarters also is based up at Delhi. And the last question is how? How can you rent this asset for a self-driven rental basis? And how can you get a similar one customized specifically for your requirement? So for rental, 
the detailed article mentioning the self-driven rental terms, conditions, policies and whatnot is going to be linked in the description box and you can also find it on our website. As for building, it is as simple as booking an inquiry or booking a consultation for the two which we are going to talk to you and finalize your requirement. We then agree on a particular quote. Once that's done, it is then the magic of Motorhome Adventures blood, sweat and tears. All the details related to building and rental again are going to be mentioned in the description box below. And that concludes this episode of a walk through the conversion. You guys always say that we should keep our walkthroughs comprehensive. I hope we delivered it this time. But if you still have any questions, you can comment it down in the comment section and maybe the man behind the making would answer them. Lastly, before any of you comes at us, as to why we choose to not mention the price please remember that this is not a candy it's not a bread it is an asset that we have to build as per specific customization and if you're that keen on knowing the price then you can simply raise an inquiry we'll be sure to respond back to you i hope you like this video and if you did give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for we will be posting many more crazy and fun customization on the home away home on wheels thank you so much for coming by motorman ventures signing off